Hi, Lou DeJohnny here. Today I'm going to be tying a very simple but effective pattern, uh, Frank Sawyer's Killer Bug. Uh, in the vise I have one I tied up earlier uh, it, using a yarn that's very close to the traditional. Now, for the pattern, there are basically two ingredients. Uh, the yarn, which is uh, originally uh, Chadwick's 477 colored yarn. You can see that it's a uh, reddish, tannish um, yarn. It's a very thin yarn. Uh, the yarn I'm using in there is something I found a while back. Um, I actually have a skein of it and uh, it's fairly close. It's a nice thin, this would be called a darning yarn, uh, also fingering yarn. It's a two-ply. Uh, if you have uh, other yarns, that are four ply or three ply, you may have to remove several plies uh, to get to the uh, diameter you want. Uh, like I said, this uh, traditional yarn is uh, fairly thin. It is a uh, two ply yarn. Uh, there are substitutes out there. I have one here um, from uh, Vineyards. Uh, but any yarn that's sort of that color, another yarn that um, I don't have a, a a sample of that a lot of people use is um, uh, spindrift uh, yarn in the color oyster. So that's uh, the Sawyer's Killer Bug tied traditionally uh, with you know a brown wire and that uh, reddish tannish uh, yarn. What I'm going to be tying today is what I'm going to call the Killer Rock Worm. Here's one I tied up earlier. And basically I'm using a green yarn I found in the craft store. Uh, it's all a mess right now because my dogs, when they were puppies, got into it and tore apart the skein. And so it's something that um, I just cut away hunks of it when I need it. Uh, for a hook, I'm gonna be using the Mustad S80-3906. Uh, yes, I buy hooks by a thousand. Uh, there are some hooks I use a lot of, and when I find really good prices on a box of a thousand, I do buy them. So I'm gonna be sizing this in a size 10. So there's the hook. Uh, for wire, I'm gonna be using a brassy size uh, ultra wire in in this case black Let's see this a little better for the camera Okay, so what I'm going to start is my wire a little bit before the hook point and Go all the way forward with touching turns If you want to use a little bit of super glue here you can um, It'll make everything lock into place a lot quicker. Now I'm going to work my way back and go back in touching turns as well. What's really great about this pattern is that the wires, the thread, and the weight, just like Frank Sawyer's uh, pheasant tail nymph. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that last piece in a little bit get to a certain point and fret it away and now work my way to the bar okay I have a section of the green yarn and I'm going to start as Frank Sawyer had described in his book at the head of the fly And now I'm just going to hold that back. Snip away the yarn. Tag in. And continue my way back to the hook point. I should say the barb. Lock it in with one, two securing wraps. Snug it up against. Clip away the excess. And now build a little 
head at the end. I'm going to come in here with just a half hitch. Just direct that half hitch in. Lock it and break it. Now to make sure that you don't come undone, I'm going to take some Solares Bone Dry. Put some on. Hit it with the torch. And there you have what I'm calling the Killer Rock Worm. And a little bit more Solares which is a variation on Frank Sawyer's killer bug. So rockworms, um, racophilia, larva, is an insect that you're going to find in a lot of freestone streams. It's a hunter. It actually goes around and um, eats other insect life. And one key behavior of uh, this larva is that it will have it will release from the bottom in what's called behavioral drift to find basically new hunting grounds and reposition itself in the stream and so at different times of the day in the morning and the evening typically is that these rockworms will release drift downstream and then resecure somewhere on the bottom and uh, go ahead and hunt again so that's uh, the bug it's a obviously you can see it's a simple pattern to tie uh, it's great that the wire is the weight as well as the thread. You can try different color yarns. Like I said, if you use something that was um, definitely very creamy, it would be a maggot fly if you wanted it. But uh, basically, you know, it could also imitate crane fly larva, um, caddis larva. So if you tied this um, with the same kind of, you know, tannish yarn here, and even with the black thread, or it's just like black wire, then, you know, it's basically a caddis larva. And so you can mix up, you know, the different colors and play around with it. Uh, like I mentioned before, one uh, yarn that a lot of people use is uh, Spindrift in color Oyster. So I hope you enjoy this pattern. Uh, tie them up. It's they are really effective. And if you do like this video, please like it subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends it really helps out